Down in Columbus, Ohio State honoring 674 student athletes with a 3.0 GPA or better at tonight's annual Scholar Athlete Banquet. Among them, St. John's alum Dallas Gant, former Titan majoring in management and industry exploring. Kind of like Dora. As for the team, spring game is set for Saturday at noon, and unlike Urban Meyer, who liked to have his depth chart pretty much set following the spring, new Buckeye head coach Ryan Day seemingly putting less emphasis on the scrimmage, saying it's just a part of the evaluation process. BCSN's Mark Coots in Columbus today. Three days before the annual spring game, Ryan Day met with the media and admitted that, like Ohio Stadium, his depth chart is a work in progress, but there's plenty of time for that to get sorted out before the fall. Now, all eyes on Saturday will be on the quarterback position to see who will succeed Dwayne Haskins. Now, today, Day, with good things to say about both of the contenders, the transfer, Justin Fields, and the returner, Matthew Baldwin. His physical traits are tremendous, you know, just in terms of his size. His ability to move, his, uh, he's got a strong arm, but then also he has good intangibles. I mean, he does, he understands what's going on, he sees defenses, he, uh, like I said, he has a good football IQ. So you, know, you forget for such a mature kid, he really hasn't played much football at all. You know, so it's the same thing, you know, he and Matthew were in the same boat that way. Um, really, he's a freshman. You know, they're both really freshmen. When you think about that, like, it catches me sometimes that, uh, you know, they were in high school last year. And Matthew's a great kid. And so really impressed with the way he goes to work every day. And that it's not about, you know, what happens if I don't win the job? Am I going to try to go move somewhere else? No, no, he's a Buckeye. And that's that's really important. That's important to our team. And he's getting better. I mean, he's, he's throwing the ball really well, um, improving in other areas, being challenged by his teammates. So it's been a great spring for him. With the renovations to the shoe, capacity for Saturday will be limited to 76,000. As of Wednesday afternoon, 63,000 tickets have already been distributed. Now, it is a big recruiting weekend as well, and Day is counting on the fans to make a favorable impression. You know, the, the amount of people that show up for our spring game is extraordinary here. So that's a huge selling point for us and shows the support of Buckeye Nation. As for the game itself, it won't be live hitting. Day called it thud context, similar to what we've seen the last couple years. Glorified two-hand touch. Guys will not be brought down to the ground. There will be four 10-minute quarters, second half a running clock, and the players will not be drafted. Day says the coaching staff will divvy up the rosters and expect some fluidity throughout the game, particularly in the second half as the more experienced players will sit out. In Columbus, Smart Coots, BCSN.